Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today is our first vlog on the USS Enterprise aircraft carrier CV-6. And uh, we're going to get started by doing vlog number one, talking about the Engine Order Telegraph, or Chadburn, as it's known somewhere in the past. So uh, let's get started. All right, so we are on the deck of the Enterprise, and we're going to take a look at this real quick. This is a mod. This is by Finn. This is a ship telegraph. And it's really cool, you know, you can kind of move it. Uh, unfortunately, there is no numbers on the side. And so I kind of looked at this because I was looking to build one for the ship. But uh, yeah, there's no, there's no numbers. So we will wait because I believe, I believe, I truly believe that modding or mod support is coming for Stormworks eventually. Uh, probably sooner than later, I'm guessing. Just based on listening to the, the audio uh, question Q&A and to the text that was inserted into a newsletter not too long ago. So I think, I think in some form it must be coming. So we're just going to hold off on using mods and wait and see what happens. So anyways, I downloaded some other ones. This one, I don't know who this is from. Hold on. So we have this one here. It is by Commander Martin. And the idea, in case you don't know what these are for, is you'd have two of them, probably maybe more. I don't know. For sure but you had at least two and they didn't control the ship directly so you had this one on maybe the the helm over here uh and you know he would say go half and so he would click that and then down here it would indicate well this yeah see there it is their little indicator saying we want to go half speed so they would change the revolutions of the engine and then when he was done he was like yeah we're going half speed captain and this would be the engineer down there so that's how this worked and we've got another one over here, and this is by Sapro, Sapporo Potate? What the heck is his name? Sapporo Potate. Yeah, that's his. And this one's really nice, because you can see the text really clear. And it looks really nice. And also, look, uh, instead of a touch screen, you click up here. Like that. And then, of course... Oh, well, this one doesn't do it. But this one's actually moving it. So it's just like go to the speed I guess it's like no I want to stop and I guess that's how it worked so this one I don't think is working exactly correct I think this is the right way I think you know it was like an indicator saying we want to go half flank and then he would confirm half flank I don't even know what that is anyways uh, yeah we want to go flank and then we have this one this little guy here and this is I don't know if this is like a proof concept and this is by random things posted and uh it's on a one by one so you don't get any uh information off this one but you can see that it moves I'm not too sure why it goes back and forward maybe that was a thing that they did i think they did in the movies i don't know but yeah so that's that's the ones you can download and use for your ships and they're all pretty cool what is what is this oh he has it over here that's why I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, so let's go stop. Okay, and then that one's over on the left. And then he's like, yeah, we'll stop. Yeah, I guess it was like, hey, ding, 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 ding. We're stopping. Ding, 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 ding. We stopped. Okay, so anyways, those you can download. We have the mod. Uh, there's more by Zooey, but I couldn't get them to load for some reason, so we can't see those. I think we can go through here. Can we go through here? Oh, yeah. We cannot go through here. I am not quite done, as you can see. Oh, thank you. Oops, that's a fake door. Can we go through this door? Ah! No. We'll just cheat. All right, so for my ship, I went ahead and did it. Did it? Did it pretty uh, simple. Uh, yeah, that's the engine. So what we want to do is we want to keep it super simple. So we want to use this ship in multiplayer. Okay? So uh, we don't have it fully set up in here. It's kind of ugly. But... The idea here is I just have this and it just sets the speed to the engine. So if we want to go one third, we click one third. You know, there's not a special animation or anything like that, but the ship will start going one third once it starts heating up the old boilers down there or whatever, and uh, we'll start moving. So that's how I set this up. Uh, you know, I have my text and uh, this is a two by two, two by two. So this is a two by two. If we look down here, We've got a 3x3, 2x2, 
and one by one. So those are kind of your cool options that you have. Let's go back up here. Let's just go full flank here. Full flank? Let's go to flank. And so we'll get it going here. Are we going somewhere? I don't I don't hear the engine starting. This must be an old build. You know why it's not moving? Because I added this. So like you have to turn on the engine. So like that's your your boiler kind of sort of not really then you can go so so dingleberry uh yeah so i did that because i wanted to hear the engine motor and not just electric motors so there we go so it's basically running like a little diesel engine just to make some noise and then uh you can hear it come online now there we go now the engines are coming online and we should be starting to move right okay so what was i saying before so what i was saying is that I spent a lot of time reading and watching videos on these uh, ships and planes that I build. And of course I forget after I'm done. But what's interesting is, I didn't really think about it or realize, it takes time for a ship to reach its speed. I mean, I have to cut through the water and get all the steam up going and get all the engines spinning without, you know, wrecking them by spinning them too fast all at one time. So it can take up to 30, no, actually, 40 minutes. It can actually take 40 minutes for a World War ship to get to max speed. So the uh, Enterprise was a max speed of 32 knots. And I've got a chip that's sitting right here that uh, you can kind of, you know, put different uh, speed settings. So how fast it takes to get to one third, two thirds, standard, full, and flank, and, you know, backwards as well. And so it kind of ramps up. So right now we're at 20 knots. And it, it only took a few minutes, but uh, we can slow it down. Oh, look, there's a present. Uh, we can slow it down and take it longer to uh, get to full speed. So that's kind of fun. So anyways, that is it for today. I just wanted to show you uh, you know, what I'm setting up with the uh, control, keeping it simple. Of course, we're running at uh, 60 frames per second. Let's come out here and watch this. We're going to jump. Ready? Look at that. Jumping up and down. 62 frames per second love it love it love it love it love it so let's go back in here and say goodbye whoops uh so anyways that is it keeping it simple keeping it multiplayer friendly and uh we'll be doing some more videos on this and so i will see you next time